Aries, 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 Aries. Dun, 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 dun. Aries, Aries, Aries. <laughs> Hi, Aries. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning in that freak in as usual, okay? Um, please keep in mind this is a general reading. As always said, make sure that you take what makes sense for you, okay? And leave the rest for somebody else. Now, if you're watching this for Aries and understand, this could be playing out from uh, your perspective as a cross watcher, okay? This is henna, by the way, on my hand. All right. So let's get started. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, what do we have for Aries? What is coming to the Aries? What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. No freaks, no freaks. Oh, I should have staged these cards. No freaks for Aries. Ooh, so we have a gift and an offer. We like gifts and offers, right, Aries? Let's come into Aries and love. Aries, Aries. Ooh, you have twin flame. Some of you are in a twin flame connection, okay? Um, some of you maybe walked away from another connection, and now you're walking into a, a twin flame connection or a divine connection, a spiritual connection, okay? <laughs> or some of you, maybe this freak walked away from something. So let's see what I got. Aries. You may be connected to a Libra. Someone who has Libra in their moon rising or their Venus. Perhaps you have Libra in your moon rising or Venus. What is coming to the Aries? In love, Aries. What do we got for Aries? Alright. I know that's... Let me know if you guys want some ASMR. <laughs> um... You can comment in my community post because the comments on this video may be disabled. Okay, so let me know if you guys want some ASMR shuffling. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. What do we have for Aries? Ooh, okay. We like that. This is a beautiful energy. Six of Wands, success, okay. You know, looking good, smelling good, feeling good. You know, I'm sure it just, just an Aries thing. Aries ting them, you know? <laughs> no, I'm not Jamaican. I'm Haitian, by the way, so no, I'm not Jamaican. But, um, yeah, you know, this is victory, okay? This is when, you know, you feel like you're on top of the world, okay? Feeling good. This could be because maybe there's someone in your life making you feel this way, feeling really good right now. Maybe you're feeling really good about a connection or a relationship that you're in, okay? Some of you, this could be engagement, proposals, Okay. Well, what is coming to Aries in love? What is coming to Aries in love? Tell me more for Aries. Okay. So Aries, some of you may be starting new connections. I'm seeing that you could be definitely dealing with a new person. Um, we do have the Page of Cups here. The world talks about like a fresh start or fresh chapter. So perhaps, you know, this is a new person that you're getting to know. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, possibly. Okay, but it looks pretty, pretty good here. Um, it does show you and this person are on the same page. What's coming to Aries in love? Tell me more for Aries. Um, there could be like, like I said, for some of you who are already in relationships, there could be, uh, this could be signifying maybe the birth of a child. Okay. And maybe you guys are really happy about that. This could be talking about an engagement proposal to take things to a higher level of commitment for those already involved. You have the Ace of Swords. Yep. What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. Aries. Okay. You have... Wow. Aries. Aries from Paris. Aries. Wow. This is beautiful, Aries. This is absolutely beautiful. What is coming to Aries in love? I feel like you have a lot of questions for those of you who are dealing with someone new. You have a lot of questions about you know this person you know you're, you're trying to get to know them they're trying to get to know you but i definitely think this is a soulmate connection you know twin flame twin flame or soulmate whatever you believe in guys i do feel like there's definitely a spiritual element to this connection okay um you may have met this person online okay i can see that 
Uh, some of you are coming out of a period of maybe you needed to heal from something else or maybe you're just getting back into the dating game or whatever it is, okay? But I feel like it's about, something is about to be established here. Somebody may want to establish a relationship with you possibly, um, like, hey, let's, let's be together, okay? Um, but I think that, you know, this is actually very, very good. And the fact that we have the three of pentacles here, pentacles definitely, uh, are good to see along with cups because it indicates that you know there's some seriousness going on here it's not just okay we have feelings for each other but what are we gonna do with that okay so this looks very very good aries okay i think you guys have a very good connection a strong connection be it relationship or not okay and um you may you like this person you know you have feelings for them and it's mutual it's mutual aries yes it is uh, but some of you, maybe you're trying to really still get to know this person's and their intentions. And I'm just here to let you know that you have the pre-stamp of approval with this freak, okay? <laughs> they definitely really do like you. They have genuine feelings for you. And they have, you know, they, they actually do want to, they're very um, focused on you, okay? They're committed to this. They're really interested in you genuinely and in building with you here, okay? So tell me about the Three of Pentacles for Aries in love. So those of you in relationships, like I said, um, this could be proposals here, okay? Maybe talking about moving in together, taking next steps. Um, there may be like Queen of Cups, wow. There may be some kind of a distance here between you guys, but I don't think that's going to really, you know, stop anything. I also feel like Aries, for those of you in relationships, if you guys have been having problems, I can see you guys maybe going to counseling or working on your issues, trying to compromise more with each other here, okay? There could be healing going on in this connection. Uh, maybe someone's being more emotionally uh, open here or just a little bit more willing to listen, okay? What is this Ace of Swords for Aries in love? Ace of Swords. Part of the reading is the Ace of Swords. So that means that, you know, there's going to be transparency here. There's clarity here, okay? with you and this person. I don't think this person is going to hide anything from you. Okay, they're ready to do this. I think this person's on board. Okay. Damn, Aries, I think someone wants to take you off of the market. Don't be surprised if this person asks you for a relationship rather soon. Nine of Cups. I think you guys have so much in common. I think you and this person um, share very strong mental compatibility. You guys have common goals of what you want, what you expect, okay? Um, so that's really good. This is, I don't know what else to tell you, Aries. This is amazing. Tell me about the Page of Swords, Fairies, and love. I don't know what else to say. I mean, I mean, wow. I think some of you may be afraid of getting your heart broken, or someone could be afraid of getting heartbroken in this situation. So that could be why they've been a little paranoid or just kind of, you know, uh, holding back a little bit because I just feel like somebody wants to make sure that the coast is clear and they are safe, okay, um, to give their heart away. But it's something that they that they definitely will do, Aries, okay? What is judgment for Aries in love? So... Yeah, there's something about clarity happening between you and this person. Maybe there was something in the past that, you know, why you guys couldn't work out. If this is someone that you have some type of history with, there, there may have been some type of third factor here. Okay. But I think that you guys are going to make this work. Okay. New person or not. All right. What is the world for Aries in love? The world. Knight of Coins. I'm also hearing if there was a third party, this person may have left this other person, okay? They left this freak. It's no longer a third party situation. Three of Cups is in the reverse. And maybe you're worried if you could trust this person. I definitely think you can trust this person because maybe you don't want to get hurt again if that's the case. But this person is actually coming in very sincere, Aries. Very, very sincere. Whoever this person is, they're very sincere with you, Aries. Um, some of you I'm hearing, if you thought it was just going to be a friendship, it's not. <laughs> this person actually wants to talk about, you know, furthering things with you. They don't want to, they don't, they don't want to be friends. They don't want to be friends. What is the star? Three yeah, some of you, maybe someone needed to even heal their baggage. 
whatever the case may be. But I think whatever you guys are about to talk about this conversation, uh, there's a conversation that's going to happen here that's going to clear up a lot of, you know, doubt in your mind or whatever trust issues, whatever that you have. You guys are really going to have a heart to heart. And uh, it's going to really open up a new chapter for you guys is what I feel. Okay. For sure. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And like I said, this is a new person. You know, this person is serious. They are. Okay. I mean, this is only going to grow is what I'm hearing. It's going to grow. Right. Anything else for Aries in this love situation? Ace of Wands. My goodness. What else for Aries? Okay, the devil's in the reverse. Some of you, maybe someone needed to kind of get out of some type of, you know, break free from whatever was holding them back and, you know, sabotaging this connection. Some of you, maybe this freak needed to leave a karmic, okay? What else for Aries in this love situation? You have the Six of Pentacles. This is all really, really, really beautiful, Aries. Really beautiful energy here. All right, so let's see what this person wants to tell. What is this person? Is it dark in here or is it just me? It could be just me. All right, what does this person want to communicate to their Aries? I plan to try to win you back, but I need you to be patient with me. Worry that you moved on. I'm crazy about you. I'm faithful to you. So those in relationships, they want you to know they're faithful. Aw, we belong together some of you, yeah, this freak feels like an idiot for losing you. Typing and deleting messages. I'll make it all up, baby. Ooh, I'll make it all up, baby. I'll make it right, baby. I'll make it right. Walking away from you was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I still love you. Trying to ignore you. Hmm. Maybe some of you, this freak wasn't ready for a relationship, but maybe they are now, okay? This person wants to tell you how they feel about you. I've never felt like this before. Maybe they hope that you're not still holding a grudge. Would you forgive me and allow me to prove my love and loyalty to you? So that is what we got. Eri. Eri from Paris. <laughs> never letting you go. So I got free Aries. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for tuning the freak in. And we will talk again next time.